Hi, I'm Jeff Murrow. I want to welcome you to True Texas History, where today, uh, what is it today? Uh, February the 9th, we are going to talk about Nikki Haley and propaganda about Texas. I don't like it when people talk bad about Texas, especially when they spread lies. Um, and lately in the news, uh, the Nikki Haley comments about secession have uh, really got me upset. And it shows that uh, these politicians, they're very ignorant about things. Okay, let me go into it. Now, if you want more details, I do have a video on the court case of Texas versus White here at the uh, True Texas History site. I encourage you to look at it. We'll go into more details. Now... Getting back to Nikki Haley. First, she made the comment, Texas can secede if it wants to. Now, that part is uh, true to some degree. Uh, and let me go ahead and explain. Because according to uh, the United States Supreme Court ruling in Texas versus White, um, it says, uh, well... The judge, of course, he did all kinds of somersaults, but the conclusion was um, that uh, secession can occur with the approval of all the states. In other words, the Supreme Court ruled it can happen, but then they loaded it down with all kinds of government bureaucracy to where you have to have the approval of everyone to make it happen. So secession can happen, uh, and so all these talking heads that say that uh, it's illegal. It can't happen. They have not read uh, the Supreme Court case where that was decided. Uh, and I am reading from my Texas history book, The Texans Always Move Them, uh, because I know some people want to know what the source is. And in putting together the book, I made it a point of going back to primary source material so that... Uh, you have actual quotes and court rulings, uh, things such as this to go by. Okay, uh, then Nikki Haley, after she made that comment, she says that Texas cannot secede based on the Constitution. That is, a, that is pure propaganda. Uh, the Constitution does not outlaw secession, never did. Uh, the whole idea... Uh, that secession is not allowed is from a Supreme Court ruling. It does not say so in the Constitution. Now, in that court ruling, the judge, Sam and Chase, took the concept of a, the United States being a dissoluble union from the Articles of Confederation um, and combined it with some material from the Constitution and created a mishmash in order to be able to come up with his ruling. Um, because the Constitution has uh, one set of, uh, one kind of wording, the Articles of Confederation have another. The Articles of Confederation were supposedly uh, dissoluble. You're not going to be able to do away with them. It's going to last forever. Uh, only problem was when they did the Constitution, they did away with the Articles of Confederation. Ah, gee, brilliant. Um, so the dissoluble is uh, soluble uh, and divisible because they did it. Uh, now, Sam and Chase uh, did all kinds of somersaults in order to be able to come up with his uh, ruling in Texas versus White. Uh, and to give you an idea of how crazy things were, uh, you have statements like this. Texas forfeited its rights, but not its obligations as a state. Hmm. And the ruling also added that the state retains the power of self-government. So Texas can uh, go ahead and uh, run its own affairs, uh, and they have all the obligations, but they lost their rights. I Now, some background to the case. You know, the question was whether Texas, which at that point was not a state, but rather an occupied military district, 
had the right to be able to bring a Supreme Court case. Um, and I believe that's part of what uh, it was getting to uh, in that ruling when he uh, made that statement. Now, I encourage you, rather to then accept talking head lawyers or just the talking head's opinion about uh, whether or not the matter is legal or, disle or illegal, do the research yourself. In, in Texas history, you will find uh, all kinds of uh, things like that, because nowadays people are uh, spreading all kinds of false rumors. Uh, I know Newsweek was especially terrible uh, in spreading a lot of fear porn uh, on this whole secession issue because they ran a whole series of articles uh, how, you know, your Medicare may be in danger and uh, all the federal programs. Uh, now, keep in mind, uh, as uh, citizens of the United States, uh, you have a contract with the U.S. government on that. You know, uh, if you're in another country, you know, like if you went down to Mexico or some other place, they would still cover you. Uh, so don't let this fear porn saying uh, that uh, that wouldn't apply in the case that uh, something happened. Um, and um, I had to speak out uh, to counter this propaganda because... Uh, it is in full swing, and with this being an election year, we're going to see even more propaganda uh, concerning Texas. Know your Texas history, and then uh, it will equip you to deal with these dilemmas as they come up. I've enjoyed uh, talking to you today. Feel free to post your questions, concerns. I'll be glad to get to them. And until next time, this is Jeff Murrah wishing you via con Dios, my friends. Great talking to you. Bye.